Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is the Warwick Valley High School Science Department and today we're going to find out how to import GPS points into Google Earth. Uh, one of the things is that your GPS unit, Garmin Map 64, creates what's known as a GPX file, but Google Earth cannot read that, so we have to convert it to a KML file. The other thing that happens is your GPS will keep dates and times attached to your data points. But if you want to be able to see those data points over a period of years, a particular location, it would be useful to strip that data off of your points. And you'll see what I mean in just a minute. So basically the first step of this process is we got to plug in our GPS and we need to go ahead and um, then choose the file. So your GPS is going to show up um, from this site we're going to get this link from our teacher, and our GPS is going to show up in the directory tree. So I find the Garmin over here. I go to the Garmin directory, and when I go in the Garmin directory, I'm then going to find the GPX directory. Here are my points that I have gathered, and the one that I'm going to use today is called Track Stream. That's one that I did, and so I'm going to now double-click on that. And now I have the stream track that I created right there. I have to change this setting right here, very important, to a KML uncompressed. And now we're all set to go. We don't have to change any of these other settings. So we're going to hit Create KML File. And when I do that, I then get a confirmation. And it's been produced for Google Earth. I click this link, and it downloads the file. And when the file is done downloading, I then go ahead and click on it, and Google Earth should automatically open. This cannot be completed on a Chromebook. You must have a desktop computer or laptop running Windows in order to do this. And voila, we have a track. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on this just a little bit so I can see it a little bit better. Put it in my frame. I'm going to change the bird's eye view a little bit so I'm more directly overhead. Uh, for me, I just like to be straight overhead looking down like a map. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the history. To turn on the history, I use this button right up here. I can turn that on. And now I can see where this has been over time. Where is it? I can also see the stream and turn it on and off by clicking that, that check mark there on the left. So now I can actually back up time. And as I do so, I'm going to see older and older images. Now I'm not going to give away everything here, but you'll be able to slide this all the way back to almost 1994. I don't think the 94 image comes out in good resolution. And if at any point these are looking blurry, you just zoom out a little bit and they will look clearer again because the resolution changes with older images. Now one of the parts of the assignment is going to be that you also have to put in your waypoints. Well, how do we do that? Well, we got to go back to the GPS visualizer and I'll hit the back button. And the first thing I'll do is I'll remove this file. Now I'm going to find my waypoints. Here are our waypoints that were gathered, right? So now I'm going to go ahead and hit open, create KML file, and I would do this the same way and import those waypoints. And then I, they would show up after I download this on Google Earth. So one of the parts of your assignment is that you're going to need to also add your photos. So that step we're going to take care of in Google Slides. Not to worry, we do that at the end. For now I've got my track and hypothetically I've got my waypoints. What about where the path is going to be in the future? Well, for this piece right here, what I can do is I can draw right on my Google Earth. And I can go ahead and then change the color. I can make the line, my 
projected path in the future. I should probably increase the weight of this line a little bit because that's a very narrow line. I'll make it 3.5, 3.6. And then with this window open, I draw exactly where I think it's going to be in the future, whatever I think that might be, right on down. Now, I let go, I hit OK, there's my path in the future. So, this image I can then take and I can put this into Google Slides. So let's take my path off for just a minute and let's go back to the current time frame. So in order to get this image, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go copy image. I go back here, here slides. I'm now going to go ahead and hit paste. There's my first image. I'm going to start a new slide. I'm going to go back here. The date on this guy is my imagery date down here at the bottom, 10-11-2014. So I need to give this a label of some sort. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to insert a label, text box, and off here somewhere, I can just call this, change the color so I can see it. date was 10-11-2014. And where did I get that from again? The imagery date is down here at the bottom of your screen. Okay, so we have the first one. Next one. I have to go in here and I have to turn on the history a little bit. We don't have to do every single set of years but we could do it in five year intervals, which is not a bad idea. So this is roughly five years ago, right? So we're gonna go here. This is a little bit you know, uh, deceiving. That's when it was uploaded to Google Earth. Down here is when this image was actually taken. So it's better to go by the image date that's at the bottom of the screen. So that was roughly five years ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that image, right? So I go up here. I go edit, copy image, go back to Google Earth, and I'm going to go ahead and paste that image. As I did before, I'm going to go ahead and take a text box. I'm going to copy that text box just to save on time, and now I paste it. Except I have to change this imagery date to 5-26-2011. Now, what about those photos, right? Those photos that we talked about, what do we do with those? Well, in order to insert the photo, we're gonna go insert image and you'll upload your photo here. Instead, I'm just gonna find something that says rivers or river. I'm gonna take that river image. Oh, search river. And then I'll just take this image select. There it is. Let's resize this. Imagine that that was that little river out there. Okay. I think I need my whitewater rafting tube and helmet for that. So anyway, I take this image. I find my waypoint, which I did not import here, but yours will be there. And I connect this with a line just like this to denote that that image goes with that waypoint. There it is. Now, you don't have to put the images on every single slide unless you're instructed to do so by your teacher, but probably on the most recent slide, we would want to have that, that data. Okay, this will be handed in according to the instruction of your teacher and can be used for many, many different applications uh, throughout science. That's all we have for today. Best of luck and best of luck finding some of your um, history and future of streams.